Hello and welcome back to my shop. Today I am going to turn a 10 inch bowl blank that has an irregular edge. It's been kicking around in my shop for a number of years and I've never been inspired to do anything with it. And I had this idea of turning away and wasting the irregular surface, creating a, a secondary curve to it to decorate. And um, I'm going to decorate it with a barbed wire illusion. I think it'll look cool going around the bowl. And I get to use uh, a couple of my favorite tools, this half inch Doug Thompson bowl gouge, as well as this Iwata Eclipse airbrush. I love this thing. I'm not real good at it yet, but I'm practicing. And this is a perfect project to do some masking and airbrushing, so well, let's get started.
I've, I've got the outside pretty close to where I want to be. This is the surface that I want to do some decorating on. And so I'm going to undercut the rim a little bit and just uh, uh, true it up. So I've got a nice smooth transition here. Now I just got to bring the bottom down and blend it in. to sand probably 120, 180, and 320, at least to 320, and out in this area where I'm going to uh, do some decorating, probably 320, maybe 400 out here. sanded the inside to 320 and most of the outside. I'll get the uh, rest of the outside when I reverse this and turn the spigot off the bottom.
Okay, the first step in creating this barbed wire border I'm going to put on here was to put some blue tape in six increments. And those will be the locations of the coiled barbs around the barbed wire. And because of the irregular shape, I had to use segments of masking tape and I chose to break the line up right where the barbed wire coils will be. And so I started with this fine tape and I just put a wavy line on there that will be the barbed wire or the wire itself. And uh, now I'm going to go and do the other part of the wire. Just, just a wavy line. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm crisscrossing them. I could take the time to make it look like the wire was coiled, but this will give it some depth. Uh, I just wanted to keep it simple. Okay, so those will be the wires, and now I'm drawing in pencil it, the actual I'll put about four coils there'll be about four coils going around Except one of them will be the barb going that way and one of them will be the barb going that way Next step, I'll take an, a sharp X-Acto knife and I'll, tr I'll cut right alongside of the fine tape and I'll cut the barb coils out without cutting across. That would defeat the purpose. I'm going to cut right along. I'll start where I checked right here. I'm going to cut along the fine tape up into the barbs and not cut through. my way around I've got the barbs cut out and I followed along the fine tape on both sides 
So I'm going to remove the mask now. Peeling up the area in between. So I'm just recutting that. So I cleaned up all of the bits of masking tape that got left behind. Now here's where you could take the time if you wanted to do individual pieces and take more time, you could make it look like the wire was wrapping. In other words, this one would go over, and this one would go under, and then that one would go over, and this one under. But I'm just going to continue through for the sake of uh, simplicity and making this easy to do and, and uh, keep the time involved down. So I'm going to use some of this same tape and go back through. And this will end up being the wire that is on the top. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to mask off the coils of barbed wire. So I got the barb coils blocked off. I've filled in a continuous wire that'll be the top wire. And uh, I've got some paint mixed up and I'm going to uh, shade in, try to go heavy on the bottom, figuring the light would be on the top, and um, fog it in, plus shade the bottom heavily. So I'm just shooting for about half of the mask on the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just finishing up, pulling off these 
pieces of tape that mask the coils. Next I'll shade, I'll darken the areas that would be shadows on the, the coiled wire and fog in and shade the bottom of this wire that's going to end up being the top wire. about it on the black and mix up some white and hit some highlights Okay, well, I'm going to just hit this with a heat gun and then uh, pull the tape off.
the bowl received two applications of thinned down polyurethane uh, prior to doing the airbrushing and I sanded this rim down to 400 to give it a little smoother surface so uh, I think what I'm going to follow up with is some acrylic lacquer and I did figure out what this wood was it was Lombardi poplar which sometimes can have some figure in it but it's really not that fun to turn it's pretty soft it likes to tear out all right I'll get the last few little bits of masking tape off of there and move on to the finishing so there you have it my barbed wire illusion I'm gonna hit it with clear lacquer I'll do this face and the inside and uh, after lunch I'll flip it over and do the bottom